Welcome everyone to Satnam. We got a random read here tonight. I uh, just thought it would uh, lighten up the mood here from the last video and just to give you some insight for everyone. And I got the max deck for tonight. I got the coming to life and uh, the compass card. So what are we going to locate here with all that, you know, we do still have Sagittarius in the air. So what do we want to be guided towards? What can we be guided towards? And uh, that will lead us to us expanding, to coming to life, that eclipse coming in. What are we going to light up during this dark phase, during this shadow phase that we're in right now, presently? Midway through the eclipse period here, from one and two out of five. So here's the compass card, everyone. And uh, we're in the shadows, Merry Moon in the shadows. If you haven't tuned into my station previously, usually what I do is I like, give you astrological updates and I read everything for signs. This video is going to be one of my random reads um, because the last two videos does embody a lot of information until I record the next show. So uh, this is a random read for this period presently between now and January the 20th the eclipse. So everyone here is working with home. Because the nodes are in Cancer and Capricorn, right? So my last video, it's a lot of talk about foundation. And my video of the year, the first one for, for this year, for the new year, 2019. We're talking about all the different elements that plays the symphony and what orchestrates what works above us and that the geometric shapes within us can create that geometric shape that goes with the higher consciousness you know if you ever hear of the tree of life or aligning with the higher the higher realms that are above whatever you believe higher dimensions and with the Sagittarius that's here, present still, in Jupiter, and in Venus now. What kind of wisdom can we embody in love? Because, you know, I'm a Libra. It's all about love. And for me, I don't like to talk about myself often. But just a sign of Libra. We like peace and love. We're hippies. Personally, I have a lot of stuff in my zodiac, in my chart, uh, that makes me a hermit. It is a fact. <laughs> but I still have an adoration of love when I see others in love, when I see the love between a mother and child, when I see love towards others, towards strangers, towards the homeless, towards the unfortunate, towards the ill-fortunate. When you see people putting love uh, towards animals, you just know they're connected. They're connected to their soul body. They're connected to humility. Their, ca their character is positive. They're committed to being a good person. So how can we be, you know, here at home, coming from the heart, being good people towards each other, creating that as well while the foundations are trying to be built on different scales and different levels, on the different levels of things. This is like, one's the pra practical and logical Capricorn, and then there's that spirit, spirit realm connected Sagittarius energy. So yeah, I believe today's an Aries moon. I think. <laughs> Perhaps. Okay, so today is one 1-1-2019 one, one, and uh, are we healing the ouch during this midway process that we have here 
and uh, so again can we balance balancing act so it's messages coming from the Libra what can we balance presently what can we find peace and love in and happiness in and uh, that sacred pool is available to all of us in the present day and uh, lovers right it's a beautiful thing and uh, Sagittarius and Libra can mesh well together and it can kind of mesh well with Taurus. And again, Earth and Fire has a little bit more... Uh, it's a little harder for them to mesh together. Because this thing, Fire will burn Earth. Right? Depending on your chart always, there's always other elements. Not everything is black and white, as uh, a sage told me. So... Magical Map Shifter. So I feel that this is for Aries. So Aries, you can shift presently. You have some positives coming in for you here. And uh, the education card, I'm gonna say this is for Taurus. Taurus, keep learning. No matter what you're putting your work in right now, keep educating yourself presently, okay? So next, the intention of things. Okay, so we're just going to go in order here. So, uh, Gemini, set your intention. That 22, that owl of wisdom. That's funny because there's some totems that say the owl is Gemini, but it also can be Sagittarius as well. Be Scorpio. Depends on, you know, the culture. But anyway, yeah. Owl, you can be witty, you can be smart, you can be that too too. Even though you know you're the third house. Remember your number is the third three. Set your intentions for today. Ongoing. 111, January 11th, uh, in the book of birthdays, uh, is the day of evaluation. What can we evaluate today? Evaluate for the future. So, cancer. Try not to feel like you're coming apart from a situation. Uh, the gifts are plentiful soon. And again, you know, when there's eclipses, when there's retrogrades, you know, it's hard on the aspect of the sun and the moon, hard on the aspect of the planet that's retrograding. So take it easy on yourself, Cancer. Lion, look, you're a lion and you're frozen. You're a deep freeze. So, uh... What are you frozen in presently, Leo? And Virgo, I hope you're all well and healthy. We have also, you got the coming apart like the Cancers. I always say that Cancer and, and Virgo, they're like the Earth and the Cancer sign of each other. The Earth and the Water sign of each other's elements. They're similar signs. Uh, Virgo may not say everything that it feels, and cancer may say what it feels or they may not but that they're similar even though they're different elements so you're both coming apart presently it's going to be okay Virgo and cancer okay so Libra it's a little heart felt on our soul body and our heart in the last three that I did and uh, this was coming up for me personally and I'm a Libra coming to life are we coming to life coming to life with this eclipse presently Libra And Scorpio, you left Venus. Oh my goodness, solitude fell on the ground. So Scorpio, maintain your solitude, maintain your meditation. I cannot re reiterate it more than on the day of evaluation. <laughs> right? Okay, so heartfelt love to you all, including my Scorpios and my Virgos presently. All right. Sagittarius, ride the wave, ride the dolphins, it's upside down, so please try to ride some waves and some dolphins or be a recluse, be out in nature and let the wisdom come in, your planet is here.
Capricorn. Heal your ouch, Capricorns. Everything is going to be okay. Uh, keep it positive, right? Keep it positive. So, Aquarius, the gentle gardener, tend to your garden gently. Be nice to yourself, Aquarius. The last two reads that I've been getting, hitting you hard with these eclipses that's coming in, with your in your sign. And we're back to the lovers. Soon it's going to be Valentine's, right? Let's keep that love going because you got the love begins in my last read. So gentle gardening for your love to begin on whatever it is and whether it's romantic or not. Uh, tend to your garden. Love yourself. Love thyself. Even though you're going to be muted with Leo, your opposite sign. And what is the representation of the nodes that we had last year, Aquarius and Leo. Right? So, tend to your garden, Aquarius. You may need a little, little more love because it's your essence that has the eclipse coming into it presently. What is, what is the review that we've been reviewing since last year and in yourself? Okay, Pisces. Are we flying? <laughs> Let's keep it going, Pisces. Um, so, and then the overall card for everyone on the day of, evalu of evaluation, oh my goodness, again, is the compass. So, with that Leo moon, clean house with the eclipses, and the last periods that we had with Venus and Scorpio, and all the Scorpio we had in all the planets. Take a leap again. Again, this is, this is like a exactly what I said in my last video. Take a chance with that Leo creative full moon eclipse. Because the rest is going to be Cancerian and Capricorn, the remainder this year. So manifest and jump. Take your compass with that Sagittarius. The Sagittarius wants to travel, right? So loves to run. He's a horse. Half God and horse. He wants to be off. And he's home. And Cancer, the theme is home on the nodes. And foundation for Capricorn and discipline and all the stuff that's going on. But I want to lighten, off, lighten up off of the discipline and remember. Remember the love that could come in. The love that could begin. Because uh, Aquarius got that love card, right? So uh, let the compass guide you to where you need to. And... Uh, I wish you all a beautiful night. 11-11-2019. Satnam from Mary Moonstar. Here in Los Feliz, California. Much love to you. Much light. Much blessings. Satnam.